Last weekend, we were at Blue Ridge Parkway. This is what we're doing. This is called a toy hauler because we want to haul all our toys around I think when we travel. Exactly what it is, yes. And here is probably about the only thing we can afford. <laughs> is the satellite. We can afford a satellite dish. And it has one right at the top. Or maybe that even. What is that? Oh, that's just a, oh, that's the put on the bed of the truck. Yeah. When I was a kid, we just slept in the back of the truck. <laughs> it had aluminum. What were those things called? Aluminum things. Oh yeah, the aluminum things, exactly. <laughs> oh shucks, I know the name of it. The aluminum cab cover things. Ah, that's not the name, but whatever. Oh, they're called in general camper tops. Yeah, so Perhaps. I could have thought it was something else. So far, we haven't seen what we actually want to see yet. We're just kind of cruising around and maybe if uh, we find what we really want to see. Oh, stop. Ah, it's sold. Well, that's sort of something we want to see. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. But any of you guys out there own a RV? Here's one for sale by owner. Uh-huh. 68,000. It's a diesel. These just look like I'm looking at a school bus. Whoa, what is that? That is huge. Look at the like windshield on that thing. Holy moly. I never realized these things were this big. I don't think I've ever oh, really? been up to one close. Oh, these aren't the big ones either. I know, but the front of them are a little intimidating. I mean, seriously, these look like the uh, charter buses, the front of them. They actually look bigger than a charter bus. Wonder how much this sold for. Oh, it's not saying. Hi over there. Fuel blue efficiency. Wow, backup camera. It's nice. I just want to say how huge this flag is. That would cover a house. I got a big sign letting us know that yes, they are open during this time. Okay, who wants to look at a mallard with sli with slides? Let's take a look. Or we won't because there's no steps. This one is. Let's do the Montana. There's steps. So Tom grabbed a glove inside the store there so that um, he can open the doors germ-free. Winterized. It has been winterized. Ew. It smells like a new it home. It smells like it's oh got that Oh my gosh. We totally should not have came in here. <laughs> Considering this is something we will never have. I want you to t take a look at the trim and the extra little details they put in here. And oh my gosh, it's so hot. These are, uh, not uh, these are uh, electric recliners and stuff. Oh my ceiling fan. I mean, look at this. Oh, that's There's nice. like you know houses that don't have fixtures is nice and we have a fireplace down here this is like it when it comes to like something to like um um if you're going to stay in one place for a long period of time wow okay we don't even have one of these at home this would be really nice 
Actually, I kind of like, we should redo our kitchen, hun. I mean, take a look at the windows. <laughs> the trim on that, the shades. That is really nice. All right, let's take a look upstairs, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's see how much room. Tom is six foot, six, six one. Yeah. So he's six one. Well, I'm, I'm in here. And he's in there. Wow. And the bedroom. Wow, barn doors and an RV. I don't even want to know what this thing costs. Mirrors on the. Oh, look at this, the latch. So the uh, doors don't. Oh my gosh! This closet is better than what I have at home. Oh! <laughs> the wind blew the door shut. It scared me. Wow! <laughs> Okay, well now that we've been in Dream World, uh -huh. <laughs> let's go to so, something a little. So I guess that's a slide out. Yeah, that's one of the slide outs. I think it is. Yeah. That's one of the slide outs. Really, guys, check it out. A cork board, chalkboard, key holders. Oh, this extends. Whoa. Uh huh. And they strap the chairs in. Oh, they do. Strapping the chairs. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one with like extra chairs. So this is a slide. So basically if this slides in, you, you can't walk here, but if it's in motion, you can still walk over here. So you can actually still get to the sofa. You have a question? If it's in motion, you can't be in the trailer. Oh yeah, this is a trailer, not a other thing. Well, that sucks, let's leave. <laughs> Tom, what did you do? I didn't shut it. Out. Oh God! Oh, oh! Claustrophobia! Claustrophobia! <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is what we were just in. That was huge. Look how high and big this one is. Okay, let's. Is there somebody in that one? Let's go in. Hello. Let's go in this one. Just compare because this one is so much higher. Hello. Oh my. Gosh, it's a living room. <laughs> Guys, I am like, is this used? No. I had no idea things like this existed. We are like, Tom maybe, I don't know, but I'm totally oblivion to the RV world. What is this for? Um. Oh, they haven't put in like seating yet. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would guess. So you got... The seating's not in. Multiple seating areas. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. Got the fireplace. So the TV comes out of here. Yep. Yeah. This is just nuts. My gosh, now I could see why people actually live in these things and don't have other homes. Because the... <laughs> These are better than some homes. Yeah, this is just a trailer here. So this is a four person. Trailer. Yeah. Okay, let's. Apparently, this is another entrance here. Yep, there's steps for another entrance. Bathroom, I'm guessing. Oh, that was a weird door. <sighs> Interesting. Oh. oh my gosh, look how tall this thing is. This is, honey, this is more ceiling space than we have in our house. Like root, ceiling clearance than we have. And I am burning up. Whew. I mean, my gosh, no wonder like retirees, this is their life. Uh -huh. The only thing is there's not a lot of places to hang up pictures on the wall. No. <laughs> but yeah. You know, they're trying to make use of wall space. <laughs> There, you can hang a picture here. Yes, yes, that's, that's all we need. <laughs> I'm into pictures, y'all know that. Wall, like, wall art. I am like... Just remember, we have to put screws all the way through the pictures in four corners. So <laughs> to keep it there. Stay there. Whoa. It's a full refrigerator. <laughs> I really should have wore short sleeves. Look, the 
skylight actually has a folding shade this one's interesting um, you could put golf carts motorcycles that's nice now this is what I would call a toy hauler your toys <laughs> let's see what it looks like inside okay glove man shall you open the door for me he's been watching too many videos <laughs> oh shucks is that one locked try this one darn it oh yay Thomas Paine collection is what I am reading on the sofa holy cow I think this is better than our house yes it does have a screen door this is better than our house Okay, this is like really cool. Oh my gosh. So, holy cow. Oh look, why is there seating back here? What? I'm confused. So this is seating that comes down. Hey, I don't get this. But there's a TV. Is this like a whole nother? This is like a, it has a bathroom. So if you're not gonna use it as a toy, washer dryer hookup. I know I'm going really fast, but. I am in awe. A new world has opened to me, hun. Uh -huh. I had no idea. Whoa. Do you know what this is like, honey? We retire and this is my art room. Uh -huh. oh. I'm still confused about the seating. Or this, no, this is a bed. What do you think? Yeah. Huh. The cargo area is a 3,000 pound limit. So here's the uh, tie downs for like your motorcycles and stuff, golf carts, whatever. Um, these are cool stools and I kind of like this flooring. Can we put this down in our kitchen? <sighs> so Tom found a little, a little loft bed space up there. This thing, I guess, sleeps quite a few. Okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, this is one of these two accesses. Oh, yeah. No, I fit, but... This is that, what, like, fantastic fan thing that will, um, if it rains, like, you can leave it open, then if it rains, it has a sensor and it automatically will shut so rain doesn't come into the camper and foot. You flush the toilet with your foot there. Now, actually, I don't know how long I could stay in a place like this. I'm feeling a little, like, claustrophobic, but it's still really cool. 